Welcome to the Glenn Beck Program. There is also another version uh, or another um, tale for H1N1 that we have seen on the internet, kind of. I've seen the pieces of this on the internet and it is getting millions of hits as well. However, I saw a story in the newspaper. It is about a company that I've been talking about for years. They have fantastic technology if you're an Alzheimer's patient. It is a company that used to be part of Digital Angel. This is kind of a spooky company, but they're only doing it now with animals. The, the former partner of Digital Angel is called Verichip. They make little chips that are injected underneath your skin. Digital Angel has the RFID chip that is injected. The, the Verichip part of it, if you will, keeps track of all of your medical information. It's a wonderful idea with Grandpa with Alzheimer. He goes to the hospital, they can scan him. If you happen to have, there it is. There's the little chip. It is injectable. Uh, when I talked to the, um, the head of the company, and we also talked to uh, some of the other people involved in the country, company, they tried to make me feel better to say, well, this, there's no RFID. You can't track this chip. This one just has a 16-digit number on it. As I said, I'm a praying man. That made me a little uncomfortable. We talked to them, and we've done our homework on this. It is um, it's great technology. If we're looking for Alzheimer's or somebody who just happens to get hit by a car, we don't know who they are. Very, very bad if, let's say, Hitler has this technology. The rumors now, though, are circulating that um, Verichip is going to be injecting these into your arm. That is absolutely not true. They are developing a rapid N1H1 mouth swab detection kit, but that's a Q-tip. That's it. That part is true. They have developed, however, that chip that has a 16-digit number on it, and it is injectable, and it lives in the body, and you get scanned, kind of like a grocery store, and voila, all your medical information pops up on the screen. They know all about you. If you had the flu shot or you didn't, if you, you know have a heart condition or don't. Everything will be on that little chip. Well, it could be very helpful, but it also could be very, very scary stuff. I tell you this tonight because I want you to know that, that because I have seen them and I have seen people email me and tweet me and say, oh my gosh, you have to know that the technology exists, but you also have to know that at this time there is no connection to the swine flu, no connection in any government contract. We cannot find any government contract on these chips. It is, however, the only FDA approved chip to implant. The reason why I bring this up is you know the facts. Misinformation, half truth, that is the problem in our country. We don't tell each other the truth, we tell each other half truths, and then it makes the problem bigger. The truth is, it is not being injected. It is they do not have a contract with the government, etc., etc., etc. However, it exists, and you must stay um, vigilant, be aware, watch for it, watch the companies and the government. I don't trust the government either. I know the days we're living in. Vigilance is the key word. Back in a second.